Hey friends, this is Mayang, founder of Archidev, and today we're gonna learn how to use card view in our table view cells. So guys, we have already done with card views before, but what is new today is how to implement those card views in our table view cells. As one of my viewers asked me to perform this tutorial or to make this tutorial, so Maddo man has asked me to make a tutorial uh, on how to use this card view, but this time with UI table view cells. So guys, Without any further ado, let's get started. So we are going to make an application like this, an application like this in our project today. So let's go ahead and open Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Now select single view application and click next and give it a product name like I will give it card table. All right and click next and then click on create now just go to main.storyboard main.storyboard file and here you will see a ui view controller in which we are going to add a table view so type table view right here table view we're going to take a table view and a prototype cell which will be reused in this table view and also a navigation bar navigation bar all right let's set some constraint a little quick the color of this uh, navigation bar to say this color and I will remove this title right from here and in our prototype cell we will give it a identifier like I will give it cell which will be used in our coding and where we can uh, uniquely identify the cell and in this prototype cell we are going to add a UI view a UI view like the same we did before in our card view tutorial we added a UI view in our UI view controller and then we changed its class to the design class which we made uh, after that so we are going to almost doing do the same thing in this tutorial also but uh, this time with table views so let's add some constraint to this UI view so here our concern is mainly to let you know how to use card view not table view so I hope you guys already know how to use a table view inside your UI view controller so I will add its outlet and next step is to go to your view controller class and here I will add my necessary three functions for the table view like if you write table view right here we need to add ui table view delegate and ui table view data source and we will make both of these to self table view dot data source will be equal to self as well as the delegate table view delegate delegate will also be equal to self like this now we are going to use some table view methods like uh, we will add number of rows in section and here we can return the number of rows in our section I will return 8 here and also we are concerned about the number of sections in table view uh, which will be 1 yeah here we are taking only 1 and the most importantly we are going to use cell for row at index path function so let's see where is it cell for row at index path yeah here it is so here we will make our cell which we will reuse in our table view so table view dot dq reusable cell with an identifier for index path like uh, we have already given the identifier to our cell 
which was cell like we did uh, and here we will write index path like this and here I will take it as a UI table view cell okay now here inside I will change the color of the content view to let's give it a background color I will give the background color to a content view and which will be like for white it will be 0 0.95 alpha will be 1 and now we are going to change the separator color of the cells the separator color I will give it same as I have given to content view so it will be 0 0.95 and alpha will be 1 all right so return this cell like this and yeah there is no error now and the next thing we are going to do is to make a new file to design a card view like I said before and let's name it design view in my last tutorial of card view I named this file as card view itself so this time I'll be taking design view let's write the code for the same so let's make it first of all we will be using a uh, IB designable IV designable okay and the class name will be design view which will be of UI view type and now let's use IB inspectable first of all we will change the corner radius corner radius which is a CG float type and its default value will be say 0 for now and we will set the value okay we will ah, we can set its value later on so currently we are all uh, only giving its a uh, default value let's take the another parameter which is the shadow color shadow color okay so shadow color is a UI color type and let's make it optional and color dot black okay let's also add the shadow offsets so IB inspectable like to the shadow offset shadow offset offset there are two offsets of shadow width and height so let's take the width first which is int type and its default value I will give it a default value as uh, say 0 and for the shadow offset height I be inspectable that shadow offset height which will also be a uh, int type and its value will be say one another parameters are like the shadow opacity yeah shadow opacity So shadow opacity will be again a UI color type and its default value will be sorry shadow opacity will be a float type so it will be CG float and here it's a, it's not CG float it's float only so I will give it a value like 0 0.25 
to now we are going to override a function override func which is layout subviews and what this function do is so guys according to apple developer forms here we have the layout subview function declaration and it says that the subclasses can override this method as needed to perform more precise layout of their subviews you should override this method only if the order resizing and constraint based behaviors of the subviews do not offer the behavior you want you can use your implementation to set the frame rectangles of your subviews directly so that's why we have used layout subviews function in our code Let's make the changes layer dot corner radius will be equal to the corner radius and layer dot shadow color will be equal to our shadow color next one is layer dot shadow offset shadow offset which will be cg size and it will be having a width and a height uh, so which will be having a width and height so our width will be shadow offset width and the height will be shadow offset height like this and the next step is let's see what is the problem here it may be like cg color okay uh, yeah the next thing we are going to do is to give a shadow path so let's make a variable for shadow path and it will be ui bezer path which will have the round rects with uh, round rect value bounds and the corner radius will be the corner radius like this and the next thing is layer dot shadow path will be equal to the path we have taken right here like this and yeah the shadow opacity layer dot shadow opacity will be equal to the shadow opacity okay and right here in shadow path you need to write cg path also okay now just save this file and i think we are good to go let's go back to our main storyboard file and change this ui view class i will change this to our uh, design design view class so it's updating the class of this ui view and let's wait for a bit and see what happens so our view is up to date now you can see the changes clearly right here and now just build and run this app and see what happens so guys here we have our desired application so we have not yet given the image view some color or some image so let's give it a say background color so that we can identify there is a ui image view also so i will change this ui image view colors the background color will be like this and let's build and run this again and see what happens yeah so we have our desired application right here and i hope you guys have understood how to make a card view inside ui table view cells if you want to make some changes to this card view or this ui view we have just made you can do it directly from here your attribute inspector all those properties which we wrote in our design view class uh, you can change all those properties from here now so like i have i can change the radius the corner radius of my cell to say three and if we build and run this app so you will be able to see that the corner these corners will be somehow rounded and if you change it further or increases further it will go completely you know it will change those corners radius so that's my motive uh, 
that's what my motive is to tell you guys how to make those changes easily now you can change the offsets you can change the opacity right from here the shadow color also so rest about zip files or you can say nif files you can add a nif file right in your project and add the ui view inside that and change the ui views class then you need to load those cell or that nif file in your table view the same way we have done with this cell uh, this custom cell so guys i hope you like this tutorial just explore this out and just play with these table view and its cells so please hit the like button down below if you like my tutorial and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one bye bye